from the very beginning, the idea was to implement universal design, meaning that all the elements within the residential unit are built to accommodate people of all different mobility. The idea was to age in place. So units would function as a standalone, regular home, but at the same time have all the components that would allow as you know, the individual's needs would change uh, over the years, that it can be modified and they still are in their comfortable living space with the same amenities and views and what have you, but the, the unit itself adjusts to their needs, their ever-changing needs. The surrounding neighborhood is very much into the mid-century period, and it was actually designed by one of the great fathers of mid mid-century architecture, William Kreisel. In many regards, it, it sort of gave a, a comfort zone for us because we were now, we were really sort of taking part in the community. We were a part of it. We were just an extension of it. His motivation was not necessarily to make it really cool. All architects want their buildings to be cool, right? And these are cool. They're great. They look wonderful. But his motivation was about livability. His, the, the whole thing that drove uh, the work that he did with residential work was how people live in it, how they can be comfortable. Um, they, uh, he and his firm were the ones that really sort of started the trend with open kitchens like you see behind us and sort of open living. Uh, that was a whole new thing before that, you know, kitchens were locked in a little room and every room was separate and so forth. And so he was really one of the innovators there and created this sort of open, airy, light-filled, air-filled kind of space for people to live in. The landscape of, of Wesley Palms is something we paid a lot of attention to. We had a great landscape architect that was very responsive, did some wonderful things. Um, but that's all part of it. As we sit here, we're seeing its wonderful trees and, mm -hmm. and landscape. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about how it looks, it's about how it lives. It's mm -hmm. about it's about creating the space and the natural light and the natural air and the relationship to landscape.